Hello everyone. As Michaela said, my name is Joseph Carcare. I am the product manager here at Belimo for our retrofit department as well as our globe valve business here at Belimo. Uh, today we're going to look at the topic or the field of retrofit uh, and what it means to myself and hopefully what it could mean to, to you in the future. And as we go through this, please jot down any questions you might have and we can hopefully cover them at the end. Uh, some of the objectives we're going to look at today, uh, or learning objectives, what I hope you get out of this today, is we're going to look at the what and why to retrofit. And we'll take a look at some of the stock offerings that Belimo can offer. We'll take a look at some of the most common things out there as far as valve retrofits. We'll look at some steps in retrofitting a valve. We'll take a look at our custom offerings and some of our capabilities here at Belimo. Uh, of course, some of the tools that are out there to help you facilitate these retrofits, as well as a, a quick uh, blurb about each one of our newer products that have come out in the last couple of years to help and aid retrofitting different valves, actuators, etc., and of course, question and answer. So, starting at the beginning, what, what I like to do is just jump into what is retrofitting. Uh, it is not a word that myself or Belimo came up. It's actually a word that's been around for a long time. Uh, this happens to be the definition by Webster's Dictionary to modify something with new parts. And what I've done is I've taken a spin on this for Belimo in the last 10 years or so and really whittled it down to, to translate for myself to remove a competitor actuator or valve and replace it or adapt it with a Belimo. And basically, retrofit, if you keep it in mind as a selling a solution to hopefully help and aid some of the pain that yourself or your customer might feel with a, a valve or actuator or damper actuator. And as you can see, that it was on that first slide, we've, we even have our own little logo now to really identify us in the marketplace as the, the source of HVAC retrofit solutions. Um, it's always been my kind of hope and dream to kind of put the bug into the ears of customers where retrofit can be um, somewhat of a, an industry term, but more of a name for Belimo. So when you think retrofit, I hope you think of myself and or Belimo. Um, why would you retrofit though? Seems to me that you could just replace the valve or actually like for like. Seems pretty simple. Uh, in many cases though, you know, the, the valve can't be removed. And I'm sure we all have come across that job where it's the the valve is a main artery to the to the building. Uh, it could be on a cooling tower or some sort of a main bypass. Maybe the valve's covered with asbestos. Um, so removing it's just not an option. Another reason could be, which is very common today, is switching from pneumatic to electronic. And that has its pros and cons. Uh, of course, there's no, there's a lot of things and things that go along with compressors and pneumatics. And today we see a little bit better controllability with electronic. Of course, we can save energy, get better control, maybe lower VA ratings. Um, of course, you're automating your system, so maybe you want to go electronic and do things over BACnet. So there could be a whole host of reasons why. Maybe the new valve by said competitor is too expensive. It's just not an option. Or some companies have obsoleted this brand or this product. They've come out with a new one, and the new one doesn't fit. It's taller. The face-to-face -face is different. Um, and of course, probably one of the biggest things, what I like to say is the low-hanging fruit, is it usually takes less time, which correlates to money and labor. So if you can get on and off a job in possibly 15, 20 minutes with a retrofit, no downtime, maybe the billable hours, you can bill out an hour and it's more profitability for your company. Or in some cases, uh, the labor, if, if, you're, if you're on the hook for the repair, maybe the, re, the replacement cost versus a retrofit, the labor, depending on where you are in the world, Latin America, maybe the labor might be less expensive. In traditionally places like uh, metro areas in the city, 
could be upwards of $100 or more per hour. So again, labor and cost, these are one of the things you have to look at when you're going to go to retrofit over why you might use new. And of course, like I said, why keep the lean one mind? <clears throat> we have years of experience doing retrofits. Um, we've been doing this now probably about 15, 20 years in the industry. We sold hundreds of thousands of kits. Of course, our actuation, we'd like to think, and, and approve it in the industry is better. That's why you'd want to put a Bellino on your valve. Of course, we have a dedicated retrofit team where we have product managers for air and water. We also have myself for retrofit. We have a full staff of machinists and mechanical drafters that do 3D design work for our custom solutions. As you can see in some of the pictures here, we've recently added some equipment to make our retrofits more state-of-the-art uh, with some EDM capabilities. We have full CNC capabilities now. Some of the more elaborate retrofits, we will do 3D modeling now and even maybe do a little SLA plastic model to make sure what we conceived was going to be exactly what we want before we even cut metal. And of course, our warranty follows just about everything else we do five and two year warranty. So <clears throat> switching gears and looking at some of the offerings we have, uh, I classify them in really two different styles, uh, stock offerings and custom. Stock offering is something that you would find in our technical documentation or our PGPL. You would look and see a part number, usually something like a LK, UGLK or UFLK. Um, you'd see some of our airside linkages like a ZGAF or a jack shaft linkage. These would start with ZG and usually there's a price right next to it. These are products that you would find readily available in our catalog. You'd find your make and model, pick them on the catalog and we'd ship them to you in about two to three days. And this could be anything from a globe valve linkage, it could be our new generation universal linkages, butterfly linkages, and of course we have a whole host of airside uh, linkages that are crank arm kits and things of that nature. Again, stock offerings you find right out of the catalog, no form required, and we can get you those in about two to three days. Going deeper into that, what would be considered stock would be for some of the most common things that are out there. Uh, centerline butterflies, Nibco, Bray, of course, a whole host of our competitor glow valves that are out in the industry, the Johnson Controls, Siemens, uh, the CB, now Schneider Electric, the DB7s, the beer cans as they, they call them, Honeywell D5011s, uh, some of our linkages that are in the stock category, right out of the catalog, directly fit on any one of these type of valves. We have all the information on file. Uh, maybe you have an old Honeywell mod control motor and you want to foot mount it. Again, some of the linkage kits we have were designed it or designed with the foot pattern to match the mod control. So they're like for like drop and replacement. So one of the first things you want to do when you are going to consider retrofitting, take a look at the valve, the make and model. Very important. Not so much what the actuator was, but if you're going to retrofit a valve or a damper, try and get some information on the valve. And this usually start with some sort of uh, tag that's around the valve, and you jot down that information, and you go to one of your helpful retrofit tools. We'll, we'll show, I'll show you some of those in a few minutes, but it could be a retrofit guide or app, maybe Select Pro, and you start looking for your make and model. As you get to your make and model and catalog, you'll start looking at some of the application specific details, whether it's the close off pressure, if it's a two way, if it's a three way. Um, of course, the close off pressure, that valve was in the system doing something. You want to make sure when you put on your actuator, it's going to do exactly what it was doing prior to you getting there. So things of that nature are important, of course, of course control signal. Once you select your linkage part number, and then you, as you run through these catalogs or these tools, you'll see you'll get multiple choices. Again, some are for two-way, three-way, some are fail-safe or non-fail-safe. 
Uh, some are indoor rated or outdoor rated or maybe four. So you want to just take a look at the different choices and see what works best for you. And again, since it's in this catalog here, all of these are stock versions of the actuator. Once you select that product, the idea would be to get it to the job site and mount it as quick as possible and get back up and running. As you can see in the picture here, this was a large butterfly job we did on a cooling tower outside. These valves were in pristine condition, so it was it made more sense to, instead of removing everything, put a brand new linkage in action meter. So with that being said, if there isn't any information, someone pulled it off, maybe it's a brand you've never heard of before, the tag's missing, or again, the idea for retrofit is solution selling. Um, myself, my colleagues here, there, if there's a will, there's a way. We have our retrofit forms conveniently located in the retrofit tech doc or the PGPL or on our website. And a lot of this information can be found right in the links provided at this webinar. And the idea would be to come across said valve, grab a set of calipers, and take some dimensions off of this valve, the bonnets, the stem, the hole patterns. And from there, we can make, as elaborate as it needs to be, to something very simple, a custom linkage for your valve. I would just make a note that Definitely using a caliper. These are going to be machined in the machine shop up to you know thousandths of an inch. And of course, they're not returnable because they are made custom for you. And these would be in the part numbers listed as a SP. Of course, G for globe, F for butterfly, B for ball. But SP is the dead giveaway that it is for a special linkage and would require a retrofit form. As you can see on the screen, we've done quite a few crazy things in the last few years. We're continuing to keep moving forward to try and build solutions to help out our customers. Uh, whether it's a large plug valve, as you can see here, maybe it's a uh, PVC ball valve, which Bloomer doesn't offer, but there are many out there. A butterfly mounted directly under the cooling tower needs an actuator. Or maybe it had a handle and that wants to be automated. Maybe the butterfly is upside down and we need to put an offset linkage to put the actuator the right way. Or it could be a linkage like this globe valve that's very high temperature. We had to create a thermal break to put the actuators further away so it wouldn't so it wouldn't ruin the actuator. So it could be actuators on dampers, large, large Ruskin dampers, for instance. The idea is come to us, we'll try to work on a solution. Of course, if brand new is not an option, this is where retrofit would come in. And the idea would be to come up with a one-up custom solution in about five days. Eight days would be some of these uh, custom offset brackets. Now, some of the tools we have to facilitate these retrofits for you would be something simple as our retrofit tech doc, which is the links provided. There's a whole host of things in there, actually to actually cross-reference, old Bellino obsolete products, valve cross-reference on what linkages we offer. Um, of course, in the, the age of digital, we've taken that catalog and may have made electronic tools to go along with that, starting with our Select Pro software. And as you can see in the picture, it's a little small, but you could click on actuator or valve and do the same steps we did in the previous example. Make, model, size, and it will tell you what actuator to buy. Our newest tool, as of a year or so, is our Retrofit app. This is available in the Google Store or the Apple iShop. Of course, it's the app very simply, and again, you can see air and water. And it will step you through what you need to successfully pick an actuator or valve retrofit and show you where to buy it, some retrofit forms, a lot of good resources right in your pocket or at your fingertips. Uh, of course, our website, take a look at our lingo.us retrofit section, all kinds of good things, cross reference material, videos, in small videos. Uh, all of our instructions 
are on our website too. So if you want to see what you're kind of getting yourself into before you go and, and purchase something, we have um, one-on-one modules for our Deloitte University if you really want to get in depth on exactly how to do a global dial retrofit form. And of course, the topic, I, I'm not going to probably go a lot of detail, but fire and smoke is also a very big retrofit market. Um, if you take a look at the fire and smoke portal on our web shop, uh, it'll give you some really good details, PowerPoints, checklists on how to do fire and smoke retrofits, and also how to clear the air on what is acceptable on UL and what's not. Um, and it's a lot easier than people think. Um, and UL well is definitely okay with it if you're following some of the rules and doing a lot of like for like and, and maintenance, they're okay with it. So, moving further, uh, that's kind of the what is retrofit, why we do it, and how we do it, and how to select it. And I'll move forward a little bit on some of the products that were kind of born from the industry to support that solution selling environment. One of them is our jack shaft linkage. And it starts with a damper where some of these actuators are mounted in the center here and if one were to fail, you'd have to slide out this full jack shaft to get it to one actuator. Or maybe it's a smoke actuator. Or maybe it's even an OEM unit that has a actuator mounted on this jack shaft. How are we going to get that actuator without sliding out the whole shaft? Well, we came up with a solution called the jack shaft linkage. And essentially what it is, is a pulley or a block and tackle type of system that takes the rotary motion of the actuator and converts it on this clamp, but it's open-ended. So you could clip it onto a damper at virtually any end or anywhere you wanted to on here and mount an actuator without taking out the whole jack shaft. This is another one of our stock parts. This is a, a YouTube video. I would definitely encourage you to check out our YouTube channel. And of course there's a, a cost associated with that, but again, what's that cost worth compared to labor and time to pull out that full shaft? Another product that we, we had uh, invented a few years ago is short stroke linkage. Uh, the Siemens 599 with little power lights, as you can see here, the little, the little gray actuators. They're made of plastic. Um, they're not very robust. And they usually only come with a two-year warranty, but they're for this little valve that has about a six millimeter travel. We came up with a uh, nice little compact linkage, all metal, so it's very robust to withstand the heat of the steam from these valves. And it utilizes either a CM or a TF actuator. And again, there is a cost associated with that. However, you can see in this picture here, without removing the valve, we unscrewed the little power mic and screwed on the linkage, and it took about two minutes. So it's another one of our products, again, a stock offering. From there, we took it a step further, realizing that there's a growing industry of these short stroke valves, whether it's Dan Floss, Casamiga, Organ Trump or a right angle takeo valve, maybe on a steam radiator. And now we offer little adapters that can take our standard linkage once designed for the Siemens valve and screw it onto someone else's short stroke valve. So again, another idea, another solution. Most recently, and probably one of our biggest uh, fame is our new actuators for our glow valves and coming up with a much nicer, more compact actuator, we wanted to come up with a linkage that could fit just about any valve out there. Along with that, we came up with different fail-safe solutions that have a switch. So no longer taking the actuator over, or flipping it over, just flipping the switch would give you a fail or non-fail-safe. Of course, we optimized some of the pieces and parts. We offered more force, which yields more close-off pressure. We made it more robust to resist the heat and try to streamline some of the offerings. When we came up with the actuator, next was the linkage portion. One of the first things we did is we created a linkage, the SGVL, which is for the Schneider wheel valve or CV wheel valve. 
It's a very simple linkage that threads right up to a collar for the AB7, 39 CD globes. From there, we came up with the universal linkage. And this is a universal linkage that fits just about any of our competitors out there, half inch to two inch. We also have the WGBL or worn globe valve. This fits a lot of our worn flange globe valves, the G6s and the G7s. So getting away from a rack and pinion style that had two tandem mount, you could go along with this to replace on our globe. The thing was the FGBL. He's kind of the big brother to the UGBL. It's again a universal linkage for flanged globe valves ranging from two and a half to six inch globes. So what does that mean, a universal linkage? It means taking some of the hardware that has a universal clamp, a universal stem adapter, adjusting your height and setting it, and basically taking a valve that you walk up across, and this picture happens to be a Johnson Controls valve, that we walked up, we took off the head, and installed this actuator in about 10 minutes and got the customer back up and running. So that's really the power of a universal linkage. What does that mean to everyone? That means having a few linkages in your truck or in your counter that could really retrofit a whole host of products with one linkage, whether it's half inch to two inch, two and a half to six with just those two linkages, or maybe you have a ton of beer cans, the CB valves where you would go with the half inch to two inch, the SGBL. So this is really the concept of retrofit, to be able to fill the gaps, fill the needs, of whatever products come along or as the industry changes to come up with new and creative ideas to facilitate these retrofits. Next on my list would be moving into um, our butterfly market. We did a lot of work on Globe, so that's kind of next on the list for, for products for the retrofit market. So with that, I thank you very much for attending. Uh, I appreciate your time. Please feel free to send us any ideas or concepts or Come to us with your problem jobs. Uh, I guarantee you we have some sort of a solution that will help you through. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Joe. Uh, now we're entering our question and answer portion of the webinar. Um, so you are more than welcome to type in any of those questions that you might have into the question box. I will read them aloud and then Joe will answer them as best as possible. Just want to let you know that we do have five handouts included in this webinar today. They are uh, downloadable, so you can go ahead and do that uh, while we're preparing for the question and answer session. And just a friendly reminder, this webinar has been recorded and will be posted to our Belimo websites and emailed to you all at a later date. All right, Joe, are you ready for some questions? I am ready. All right. So I'm going to start first with how long is the warranty on Bolimo products and retrofit products? Um, our warranty matches the actuators or the valves that we sell. So for instance, if you're retrofitting a dual valve, our dual valves have a five-year warranty, the retrofit will have a five-year warranty. Our butterflies have a two-year warranty, so our butterfly linkages will also have a two-year warranty. They follow the valve of what we sell. Um, yeah, that's probably the, the best answer. If our action are five year, the jack shaft linkage would also be five year. Okay. Um, next question. Um, can you tell me where the retrofit app is located and how much is it to download? Uh, it is a free app. If you go to either the uh, Google Play Store. Or if you go into the, on your iPhone and you just go to the App Store and type in Bolimo Retrofit, my little icon that I showed at the very, 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 very beginning, that will have this little icon here. That's my Retrofit icon. If you look for that in the app, that's the app right there. So you just type in Bolimo Retrofit in either Google Play or in iTunes or the iShop and it'll pop up, and it is a free app. Okay, Joe, another follow-up question to the Retrofit app. Um, do you need service on your phone to use the app? No, uh, only if you want the pictures to load. So if you were to 
as the app shows you what linkage to purchase. If you have service, it'll give you a little picture of what it looks like. If you do not have service, it'll still tell you exactly what linkage to purchase, but the, the little picture of the image will be blank. Okay, Joe, I'm getting feedback that the first um, answer to the question was not, uh, people could not hear it. So how long is the warranty on Bolimo products, including retrofit? Okay, it's traditionally five years, and it will follow the warranty of the valve. And an example would be our globe valves are five years, therefore the globe valve retrofits are five years. Our butterflies are two-year warranty, so our butterfly retrofit warranty would also be two years. Awesome. Thank you. Um, we have a retrofit specific question. Do you have a retrofit solution for a Siemens SSB valve? SSB, yes. That would be the power light valve that I showed, the little short stroke linkage. Uh, the SSB or the SSC is the little gray actuator that fits on the Siemens power light. That little short stroke valve I showed you um, the UGSL 1200, that's the linkage that would fit right onto that half inch to two inch little short stroke valve. So yes, we do. Um, next question, um, does Bolimo have a class one division two solution? Uh, we do not. We do have a class one div one explosion proof housing but all of those currently are just for actuators. They do not mount on valves. All right. And um, I did have one more question. Um, are there any accessories for retrofit actuators? Yeah, uh, I didn't cover it here, but in the retrofit section, again, also in the globe or butterfly section of our catalog, any one of the accessories you would see for a globe valve or a butterfly, we could offer for retrofit. So that would mean end switches, weather shields, uh, heaters, things of that nature. We can put them on with retrofits also. Okay. Well, thank you everyone for participating in today's webinar. Um, if any of your questions did not get answered during this session, we will surely be reaching out to you to make sure that we give you the, the correct answer. Um, our next webinar will be on the 17th of August at 1 p.m. Um, Eastern Time, and it will be on a very new tool. It's called the Energy Valve Analysis Tool. Um, we're really excited for this next webinar, and if you have any further comments, questions, or you just need to ask us another uh, question, can you please, you can please email us at marketing at us.bolimo.com. Uh, thank you very much and have a great day. Bye-bye now.